Question number nine <clears throat> from the book STP Mathematics 3A. Find the angles denoted by the letters. So in question number nine, if you look at here, we need to find E, D, and F. According to the statement, find the angles denoted by the letters but the letters are E D F if you look at here in a bigger triangle in a bigger triangle all the angles add up to 180 so we are given two angles 75 and 40 plus E it must be equal 180 so 180 minus 75 minus 40 so you'll find angle 65 if you add them it should be 180 or if we look at here this is the transversal line these are the parallel lines and this is the transversal line so these angles are corresponding each other so d equal 75 and f we know on the straight line angle add up to 180 so 180 minus 40 180 minus 40 give you 140 degree question number 10 we need to find p q r s but we are not given any value but we are given some hints here the first of all if we look at this triangle said all sides are equal we know the property of the triangle when all sides are equal so this triangle is called equilateral triangle or equiangular triangle means all sides are equal or all angles are equal so total angles in a triangle add up to 180 so all sides all triangles are equal so 180 divided by 3 give us 60 so 180 divided by 3 give us 60 so it means each angle in this triangle is 60 so P is 60 according to this this must be 60 on a straight line angle add up to 180 180 minus 60 it is 120 vertical opposite angles are equal so S equal 60 vertically opposite angles are equal so S equals 60 now if we look at here this line is parallel to this line it means this is the transversal line so this angle also 60 so alternate angles are equal so 60 alternate to Q so it means Q equal also 60 Question number 11, in this we need to find KLMN, it is trapezoid, if we look at here in this triangle the lower part of the trapezoid shows one angle is 90 degree right angle but we missing angle M and N but if we observe the upper part of the trapezoid which make a triangle which two sides are equal when two sides are equal so it means their base angle must be equal so it is a sauceless triangle if it is a sauceless triangle so it means the total angles in a triangle we know add up to 180 so if they are add up to 180 minus 120 you will find 180 minus 20 
equal 60. And because L and K are the same angle, it means it should be divided by 2, which is 30. So angle L equal 30 and angle K equal 30. According now go for M. If you observe this line is parallel to this line. So this is the transversal line. If these two lines are parallel and this is the transversal line, it means this alternate to this angle. So 30 L and M are equal. So L is 30, M also 30. Now according to triangle method, total angle should be added up to 180. So we know that one angle is 90 and one angle is 30. So 90 minus 30 give you 60. So n equals 60. Or 180 minus these two angles you will find 60. 180 minus 90 equal 90. 90 minus 30, 30 equal 60. 30 minus sorry 90 minus 30 equal 60 so n equal 60 question number 12 in this question we need to find i h and g according to the triangle rule if you observe the bigger triangle the total angle must be add up to 180. We are given two angles, but we are missing one angle. If we subtract 82 and 74 from 180, we will find angle G. So because the total angle in a triangle add up to 180. So 180 minus 82 minus 74 give us 24 so angle G is 24 now we need to find I and H if we observe these two lines are parallel lines and this is the transversal line if these two parallel lines and this is the transversal line so it means these two corresponding angles so we know that according to the parallel lines and transversal line, the corresponding angles are equal. So I equal 74. And again, if we observe these two parallel lines, or if you look at here, this is the small triangle. And small triangle, Or if we observe these are two parallel lines and this is the transversal line. This is the transversal line. In transversal line, interior angle or supplementary, interior angle add up to 180. So H plus G should be 180. We know G equal 24. When we add in H, it should be 180. So 180 minus 24, you will find 156. So angle H, 156.